the George Burns and Gracie Allen Show. Appearing on tonight's show were Catherine Card as Mrs. Barlow. It's sweet of you to watch the baby while I go shopping, Mrs. Barlow. Oh, that's what neighbors are for. We're all very friendly here. Oh, you certainly are. Considering my husband and I just moved in last night. Oh, I'm glad to do it. I'm crazy about babies, and yours is mighty cute. <laughs> well, thanks again. And I'll hurry back. Oh, take your time, dear. Bye. Oh, you're sleeping like an angel, but I think I'll move you in the other room. We're a little quiet. Hey. <laughs> Yes? Oh, I must have the wrong apartment. I'm looking for 6B, the apartment my son just moved into. Oh, well, this is it. But he isn't here now. Oh, well, then may I come in and look around? Oh, of course. Are you the landlady? No, I'm Mrs. Barlow, the neighbor from across the hall, and I'm just taking care of things while your son's wife is out shopping. His wife? <laughs> Goodness. What's wrong? You seem surprised. Well, how would you feel if you sat down just as the plain mother and found out you were an in-law before the chair was even warm? <laughs> you didn't know your son had a wife? Well, certainly not. He, he, he must have gotten married just this morning. <laughs> oh, I hardly think so. Uh, well, why not? Uh, a baby crying in the next room? Yes. Oh, and has that room got anything to do with this room? Yes, it's the same apartment. May I have a glass of water, please? I guess you didn't know about the baby, either. Well, no, but, oh, I'm so thrilled. I can't wait to see the little darling. I'll get the baby. Oh, he sounds just like Ronnie. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful baby. Does he look like your son? No, no, he's much smaller. Uh, I mean, does uh, he have features like your son? Your ears, eyes, nose, mouth? Yes, they're all there. <laughs> and, uh, now that you're here, I wonder if you'd like to sit with the baby till your son's wife returns. Oh, yes, I'd be glad to. And there's some things I could be doing at home. But if you need me, I'll be right across the hall. Oh, by the way, there's some formula in the kitchen. Before I go, would you like me to heat it for you? Oh, no, thank you. I've already had my lunch. Oh, no, it's for yeah, oh. <laughs> I know it's for the baby. <laughs> you know, it's been so long since I've been one, I forgot. <laughs> Oh, my, that cup of coffee certainly hit the spot. Now I'll take care of these clothes. Say, Mrs. Johnson, maybe your husband would like this blue suit, too. George often wore it with a top coat, and he looked fine. Oh, thanks, ma'am, but the top coat's enough. Oh, he couldn't go to work in just a top coat. What would they think when he took it off? <laughs> Thanks for the suit, Mrs. Burns. It's more than that loafer deserves. Oh, I never knew he was in jail. Uh, Mrs. Johnson, this is my husband, Mr. Burns. How do you do? How do you do? And that's Blanche Morton and her husband. How do you do? How do you, How do, you do? do? Is Mrs. Johnson going with us, too? Oh, of course not. Oh, men are so silly. Here are the Mortons, our best friends, and he doesn't want them along at the beach. <laughs> and you, you come in here to clean the house, and he invites you. Uh, I see, misunderstood. I see, what, what really took place was... Are you going to the beach in that get-up? That's right. What happened? Are they burying a lifeguard today? <laughs> a dear friend of mine died. Oh. Uh, Mrs. Johnson, uh, will you come with me and I'll show you where to put your coat and what I want you to do. And hurry, remember? Oh, wait. Mrs. Johnson! Yes? But now everybody say goodbye to Mrs. Johnson. Goodbye, Mrs. Oh, Johnson. Yes. Bye, Mrs. Goodbye. Johnson. Goodbye, Mrs. Johnson. Goodbye, Mrs. Johnson. Goodbye. 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 Goodb
Mr. Johnson, I'll take it. Thank you. Hello? Oh, here he comes. Uh, Mrs. Burns? Yes? Uh, shall I wash the curtains in the bedroom? No, in the laundry. We haven't got a washing machine in the bedroom. <laughs> Oh, oh well, wait a minute. Say goodbye to Miss Johnson. Yeah. Goodbye, Miss Johnson. Johnson. Goodbye. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That sounds like our phone. Oh, yes. Oh, oh my. I'm glad you haven't left yet. Uh, do you have any soap powder? Oh, yes. It's in the kitchen. Well, I haven't been able to find it. Would you show me where it is? Mrs. Johnson, you've already been in it. It's that room back there with the stove and the refrigerator. So <laughs> where the soap powder is. Oh, oh, come on, Mrs. Johnson. <laughs> Mrs. Johnson, have you seen the men? They all just went trailing through here and out the front door. Oh, I wish they had sense enough to stay in one place. So do I. I'm trying to get this floor swept. <laughs> oh, no, not again. We still can't find them. Well, you're looking in the wrong place. They went that way. <laughs> Much better business. <laughs> Mrs. Johnson, if you don't mind, could we be alone? Oh, I can take a hint. If you wanted to be alone with her, why did you drag me in? I meant I want to be alone with you. Oh. Excuse me. Now, Miss... Now, let's, let's go. go. Oh, wait! Miss Johnson! <laughs> yes? Now, everybody say goodbye to Mrs. Johnson. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> yes? May I see Mr. and Mrs. Burns? It's very important. I'm sorry, but they just left. Oh. Who shall I say call? Howard Williams. <laughs> You know, I'm glad you were able to take this job tonight, Mrs. Bellows. The agency said you're one of their best cooks. Well, I certainly am, if I do say so myself. But I'm a plain cook, nothing fancy. Well, it doesn't matter. You'll be out here in the kitchen where nobody will see you anyway. <laughs> I mean, I don't go in for the frills and the faldy rolls. The faldy rolls? The tricked up stuff. Some cooks fix the lamb chops with paper panties on, but not me. Oh. Well, as I was saying, nobody will see you anyway, so you can wear what you want. <laughs> they put the panties on the lamb chops, Mrs. Burns. Oh. Oh, I hired a, a butler for tonight, Mrs. Bellows. Oh, but you know, he should have been here by now. Well, he better not be one of the snooty kind that thinks he's too good to do a bit of work in the kitchen. Well, I hope not. This is a very special party, so I hope you can cook something that will fit the occasion. Mm, what's the occasion? Well, I, I won't know until I see what you've cooked. <laughs> well, uh, uh, chicken will fit any occasion. I'm a very good hand with chicken. Oh, uh, is that what you fix best? Oh, my husband loves it. Boiled, fried, or stewed, it's his favorite food. Oh. What's his favorite food when he's sober? <laughs> Didn't hear right. What? Oh, he's not by any chance one of the shoe salesmen who pinched Blanche's foot. No, no, Jim's mechanic. Oh. Well, Mrs. Burns, I've got work to do. I wish that butler would get here. Uh, you just leave the menu to me. Oh, all right, because I want to go upstairs and wrap my husband's present. But I'm sure you'll know what's best to do. You can trust me to fix a good dinner. All right. Oh, I'll take this into the living room. Just run along and leave it in my hands. Oh. All right. <laughs> Seems like a nice lady. A little confusing, but nice. Oh, hello. Are you the cook? Well, I'm not Lana Turner. It's about time you got here, Mr. Fancy Pants. There's a lot of work to be done before you get in your monkey suit. Uh, monkey suit? Here. Put the apron on and start peeling the potatoes. Walker. And there'll be no smoking in my kitchen. Uh, Lana, I'm George Burns. Oh, well, oh, I'm Perfectly sorry. all right, but if you want the butler, here he is. <clears throat> uh, the cook would like to talk. <laughs> you heard me put it on. <laughs> here, take this. Start peeling the potatoes. Yes, ma'am. And hurry up. 
If Willa gets an invitation here, he really has to work. I'll bet you never had a butler's job like this before. Just wait till you meet the lady of the house. You say she's confusing? Only when she talks. Now, for instance, when I came in, she had the flour and the sugar in containers sitting on the floor. She said she did it every once in a while when her husband complains about the groceries being too high. <laughs> Surely you must be joking, Mrs. Bellows. Oh, Mrs. Bellows, I... Oh, pardon me for interrupting you and your husband, but I wanted to talk to you about the cake. Uh, this isn't my husband. This is Dobson. Oh, how do you do, Mr. Dobson? Uh, pardon me for interrupting you and your boyfriend. Oh, uh, Mrs. Burns. But... Dobson is the butler. Oh, oh, you're smart to have a boyfriend who's a butler. When the other one comes, tell me to meet him. This is the other one. Oh, well, I, I wish you'd put on your coat so I won't get you mixed up. I'll put my coat on later, now. Oh, all right. Now, about the cake. I want you to make a nice big one, and I wish you'd make it with the icing on the inside and the cake on the outside. Mrs. Burns. The icing on the inside? Well, yes, so it won't be so sticky to handle. 